National Headquarters for the Air Patrol in the United States Air Force Auxiliary, Mexico Air Force Base, Alabama. Personnel action number NH218, 11 March 2014. Number one, announcement is made of the appointment of Lieutenant Colonel Henry Rizari, Cap ID 382410, as Commander of Florida Wing, Vice Colonel Michael N. Cook, CEP Cap ID 3016. 727 and promotion to the temporary grade of colonel, effective 15 March 2014. Authority CAP Regulation 20-1. At this time, I'd like to invite uh, the watch of the Colonel Henry Rizari, the CDC Rizari, and his parents. State your full name. I, Henry Rosari. Having been promoted to the grade of colonel. Having been promoted to the grade of colonel. In the Civil Air Patrol. In the Civil Air Patrol. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will support and comply. That I will support and comply. With the Constitution and bylaws. With the Constitution and bylaws. Of the Civil Air Patrol. Of the Civil Air Patrol. That I take this obligation freely. That I take this obligation freely. Without mental reservation. Without mental reservation. For purpose of evasion. For purpose of evasion. That I will well and faithfully. Faithfully. Discharge the duties and our responsibilities. Discharge the duties and responsibilities. And obey the orders. And obey the orders of the officers appointed over me. And the officers appointed over me. According to the regulations. According to the regulations. So help me God. Congratulations, Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen. First time I present to you Colonel Henry Isneri, Commander, Florida Wing.
Lieutenant James Carraway, United States Air Force. Finally, Colonel Carlos Fernandez. He's currently the Puerto Rico Wing Commander and his wife. He too is a former cadet and recipient of the Ira Eco Award. An interesting fact that will reveal my true age is that Colonel Fernandez and I were cadets in the Puerto Rico Wing in the mid-1980s. And we have followed each other's cap careers ever since. I think we have a picture. <laughs> Thank you all for joining me uh, during this special moment. On top of many others, I'd like to congratulate Colonel Mike Cook for a job so quickly done. The morale and energy of the Florida Wing is strong. I also would like to convey my appreciation for his unwavering commitment to ensuring a turnover that will continue to swing on course well after he departs. Thank you very much. <laughs> General Vasquez, thank you for your inspirational remarks. I look forward to serving under your story of leadership. Colonel Bedgood, Colonel Melton, and Colonel Hanna, thank you for your confidence and trust in this position. I intend to work diligently with all of you, the Florida Wing team of professionals, to ensure the effectiveness of our operations and continued success of our cadet program, our space education, and emergency services activities. You should know that our work here has my utmost attention. I can't thank the resilient volunteers and their families enough for their dedication, volunteerism, and loyalty to this great organization. I value each of you, and I do not take any of what you do in your contributions for granted. I know you respect the fact of the important work ahead, and will continue to require you to be focused professionals and full of teamwork. We must be effective partners, synchronizing efforts, adaptable, flexible, with innovative thinking, and of course with affordable solutions. Just know that we must value our utmost and most important asset, which is our volunteers. I will continue the legacy to build on the efforts and service of those who have preceded us, and we, and we will set favorable conditions for those who will follow us. Commanders, staff, and all members, it is my distinct pleasure to be here today and to begin my tireless work with and for you. I look forward to serving with all you as we begin our journey. Thank you. Standing for the departure of the head table.